Today I'm opening up the second half of my 2021 NRL Traders box. Hey everybody, welcome back to Scorecard Collectibles. Dave here with the second part of my 2021 NRL Traders box. These are absolutely awesome cards. We're going to be opening up 18 packs. Um, cannot, cannot wait. Look at all of this goodness. So we do have 18 packs here, which we will be opening up. So let's just get into it. So let's start our first of our 18 packets. And I am really enjoying collecting these. And I have almost, we've got a, we've still got a few more um, base to go, but I have collected most of um, the base which is looking awesome in my folder. And there you go, we, uh, our first insert is a Tom Dubojevic, um Manly Season 2 Remember. So this is one of the uh, middle cards um, in, in the set. Um, and so it's uh, for round three, Turbo Blasted the Bulldogs away with two tries and a 32 to six win. Very cool. And then we've got a David Nofaluma Pearl Parallel card. Very, very cool. I think um, at the end of the video, I will go through um, my album and see if we can complete the base set. Um, we should be able to, because I've only opened up three starter packs, which have nine packs total. And then I've opened up half the box. Um, so um, after all of that, we should, oh, there you go. It's a, it's a dud pack. We've just got a, uh, a nickel clock stud, um, pearl, um, but yeah, no, we should have finished off the base after opening, um, today's cards. So definitely, definitely, um, but yeah, we will go through that at the end of the video after I've opened up all of my packets. And I hope you're all having fun opening up your NRL traders. Um, yeah, let's see what insert we can get. We are looking, oh, there you go. We've got, I was about to say, we've got a, we've got another street art to come. So we've got Mitchell Barnett from the Knights. Very cool. And then we've got the Panthers checklist parallel they just look so good like the the light picks up so well um but yeah it would be great to finish off the base um and yeah look um if i i will if i when i mispronounce people's names please please let me know in the comments the correct uh, pronunciation because I do like to get people's names correct and um, I have well there you go um, indeed great um, great case in point but a rising star uh, for the roosters not sure how to pronounce his name so I'm not going to try um, and there you go we've got a Clinton Gutherson from the Eels Parallel um, so, um, if you're not um, too familiar with my videos, I have only just got back into watching the NRL after maybe five years of not following it closely at all. Um, so there are a lot of names that I'm not familiar with. So look, I, I get it. It can be really annoying. We've got another Rising Stars with Sean Bloor from the Tigers. Um, and a Herbie Farnworth from the Broncos. Parallel. Like, you know, like I was watching, a, I was watching somebody opening up wrestling cards um, and he was like mispronouncing every name. And, you know, like I get it. It's really annoying when you care, like when you're a big fan of something and you're watching somebody butcher people's names. Um, it, it's frustrating, I get it. Um, but yeah, like I'm, I'm just getting back into the NRL. So, um, but yeah, you know, like I, I want to be as respectful to people as possible. Ooh, that's nice. And you know, pronounce people's names correctly. So I'm sure I will get people's names wrong. Um, and when I do, um, please let me know and let me know the correct pronunciation because that would be really, really helpful. Um, oh, these team wildcards are very cool. Um, 
So we've got Broncos. They look really great. There you go, that's a nice, a nice pull. And then we've got Ryan Pappenhausen for the Storm, who did get beaten uh, in round three. So yeah, in the uh, grand final rematch, grand final rematch. So there you go. Um, here we go, what are we gonna get? I know we've got a few checklists that we do need. And there you go, we've got a, a Ponga. I think one of his cards has been um, misspelled. I think they wrote his first name. Uh, they misspelled his first name. So that kind of makes, it's kind of weird, but it sort of makes the card more valuable when there's errors. Um, I actually was watching uh, CT Dingo's latest unboxing, or at least latest, when I'm filming this. Um, and I forget who it was, but there was a card that had the wrong, it had a wrong picture of the player, which is pretty bad, pretty bad screw up. Um, there you go, we've got a Bradman Best for the Knights Rising Star. I think we do already have that one that came out of our starter packs. Um, Paseka for the uh, Sea Eagles. Um, there you go. Um, yeah, let me know if you're close to finishing off the base set. I still think my favorite pulls have been the two club heroes. Those have been really, really awesome to get. Um, and we, yeah, we got our Storm. Oh, well, <laughs> speaking of the Storm, there you go. We've got a Cameron Smith season to remember. Um, so this is for round nine. Smith became the first player in history to win 300 NRL matches. Well, that's a, that's a, what a stat. There you go, that's a nice card. And then we've got a Valentine Holmes for the Cowboys. Pearl Parallel. Um, there you go. Well, I will have to go through all of these base. I've got my album right next to me. We'll go through them and see what I can add and see if we can fill our base set. That would be very, very cool. There you go, we've got a Tremaine Spry, a Rising Star from the Titans. I think the Rising Stars are um, one in three packs, I think. They're pretty common. Um, and then a Hughes, parallel, very nice. Um, but yeah, I think the the Rising Stars are relatively common. I think we're due, we're due a, I'm pretty sure we're due a, um, a team, what are they called? The, so the wildcard group was our um, box hit that we were waiting for. There you go. But we should get another wildcard. At least one wildcard. Oh, there you go. We've got a Muli, uh, a Muli Talo season to remember. All the sharks that every season to remember we've got has been the middle card they've been a little bit weird uh mitchell barnett we did get his street art now we've got his parallel um the the season to remembers like i'm sure when i was opening up i think i don't know they seem to come in batches because i still don't think i've got like a front one, like, you know, the left, the far left. I think I've only got middle and right. So I don't know if anybody else has noticed them coming out in weird patches. Oh, that's very cute. We've got our star tunes. We've got Rabalawa for the dragons. Oh, that's very cute. I do like these very much. The star tunes are awesome. That's a great card. Oh, that's very cool. Very happy with that. And then Harris DeVita for the Warriors is our parallel. And finish off our base for that pack. And we've only got a few packets left. Um, let's see what we get. 
I mean, we can still chase the biggies. Um, the hits that are higher than a box hit, like our autographs. We were very lucky, um, if you're watching my cricket videos over the summer, we were very lucky with getting autos. So hopefully that oh! Speaking of, speaking of our luck with autos, we've got a Nick Meany authentic series signature for the Bulldogs. Now are these numbered? They are. There you go. <laughs> 36 of 115. Um, authentic series signature. Nick Meany, first grade debut was um, Knight v Eels at McDonald Jones Stadium around 18, 2018. Um, the Bellina Sea Eagles Jr. is one of the Bulldogs' most promising young players. Meany is a versatile player, having played both winger and fullback for the Bulldogs. He scored a, a, no, 100, I'm sure he would love to have scored 100. 12 tries. He has scored 12 tries and 156 points so far in his Bulldogs career. Wow, look at that. That is really, really nice. So let's go and sleeve up Nick Meany. That is very, very cool. Pop him in. The top loader. That is very, very cool. Right as I was literally talking about how lucky we were um, for the cricket card autos, we get an NRL auto. Oh man, the, uh, the TLA luck. Um, very, very nice. And then we've got a Daily Cherry Evans um, parallel. Um, oh, that's very, that's very cool. Very, very, very cool. So, well, there you go. Um, this box has been very good to us, I think. Very good to us. Um, what can we get? I think we're still, should we, I think we still are Odo Wildcard, I think. Uh, we've got a Bailey Sirenin Rabbitohs Rising Star. I think that's Newey. And then we've got a Jordan McLean uh, Parallel for the Cowboys. Got a storm checklist. I'm pretty sure we've already got the storm checklist. Um, and then the rest of our commons for that packet that did contain the Nick Meany signature. That's very cool. I'm very happy about that. And then, um, so what is this? This is our fourth, uh, yeah, no, this is our fourth last packet. So well, let's see what we can pick up. And it's okay, there you go. We've got a Latrell Mitchell, Rabbitohs card, um, and then the rest of our base. I know there is quite a few um, checklist cards that I need to get to finish off the base, so hopefully we have done that. Hopefully, I know I have the Storm base set all done, so we don't need any more. Oh, there you go. We were, I think we were um, needing a, another wild card and we did. We did get a Dylan Napper for the Bulldogs. Another Bulldogs insert. Very nice. The wild cards look so good. And a Corey Thompson Titans parallel. Um, finishing off that packet. I feel like I've got the Knights checklist a few times already today. Second last packet, what can we get? We've already got it. Um, I think we've got all our box hits and we've hit an auto, a white authentic auto. Um, so I think there's not really much more. Oh, there you go, we've got a Sharks parallel. So there you go, we didn't get an insert other than the parallel. Um, and apologies to Joseph Tarpany. Tarpany Tarpany. I have been mispronouncing his surname, something shocking. Um, yeah, which is really bad because I actually looked it up online and saw a commentator and just, yeah, a good lesson that just because somebody on TV says it doesn't mean it's the way that it should be said. So that was very embarrassing. Apologies, Joseph, for that. 
Um, but there you go, that's Tarpany will be pronounced correctly. From here on in, and there you go, a Xavier Coates Broncos Rising Star is our final insert today. Um, not to forget the Ravel Hour um, parallel. We did get his Star Tune, and then we go for the Jesse Bromwich um, to finish off Jeff Whiten from the Raiders. So now that I've gone through the base cards that we just picked up, I can confirm that I now have the full base set. So let's quickly go through that now that I've completed the base set, which is very, very cool. And you would have noticed that what I've done is instead of putting the checklist at the top um, where it should go, um, I am just, I like having one team per page. Um, so that's what I've done. I've put the nine player cards on each page and then at the end of them I've put the checklist cards with the team logos, um, which is just my preference. Um, and there you go, we've got the Roosters and the Warriors. I'm finishing off with the Tigers. And there you go, then we've got the uh, checklist cards. So that is the base set that we've just completed. I've added the pearl um, parallels that we just got um, to what I already had. So that's a quick look. Um, I will do a proper um, collection video later on in the season. So I've already put the parallel cards into the album, but let's check out the other kits that we got from the second half of our box. And we did get a bunch of rising stars. Uh, with the Rabbitohs, Roosters, Tigers, Knights, Titans, and Broncos. Um, then we had several Season to Remember cards with Manly, Melbourne, and Cronulla. Um, we did get one wild card with Dylan Napper from the Bulldogs. We got our second Star Tunes with Rebel Hour from the uh, Dragons. Then we got this Mitchell Bonnet Street Art from the Knights. Um, we got our Team Wild Card, which is from the Broncos. And then, of course, the big hit of the box, um, the big hit of today, was this Nick Meany Authentic White Signature Series Auto On Card Auto, number 36 of 115. Absolutely brilliant. What an awesome young player to get an auto of. Really stoked with that. What a way to finish off our first box of 2021 TLA NRL Traders. Hope your team is doing well. And I hope you've got lots of great cards from your Traders openings. I do have some more starter packs that I will be opening very soon. And hope to find some more cards in Melbourne. It is a little harder to find them here. Uh, but when I do, I will be opening them up right here on Scorecard Collectibles, because that's what I do. I hope you had so much fun, and until next time, stay cool, stay awesome, take care, especially to all our friends in New South Wales and Queensland. Hope you're all doing really well. Until next time, I'm Dave, this is Scorecard Collectibles, and I can't wait to see you next time.